saying hi to y'all. We are in, we're in Miami for the kids' um, spring break. Um, I'm looking crusty and dusty because we actually just got in the room um, maybe like 40 minutes ago. We've just honestly hopped off the plane and then ended up getting a car. And then we went to go get some food, y'all. Wait, first of all, hey friends, hey. My name is Nas. If this is your first time here, we talk about all things lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. And today, it's just a regular old vlog vlog. Um, but yeah, brain fart, girl. Um, I feel like I am tired, but I don't know what it is about me. And when I travel, like sleep is like last on the list. I will like not to go to sleep. Um, and I think it's just because I, I, I just try to make the most of um, wherever I'm at, which whatever, but still like, girl, you need rest. So the bags are bagging. I did bring my eye patches from Topicals. We're going to put them on tonight because I know tomorrow I'm going to be looking like, girl, swollen eyed. But um, yeah, basically we got here. We landed. Um, I ended up going, we ended up going to go get some food. I can't remember the name of the food hall. I'll figure it out and I'll pop it up here. But it was so cute. It was really cute. And they had something that we all enjoyed. Katie had mozzarella sticks. Vincent loves burgers. So they had cute little burgers like Smash style. Um, I love a good taco. And then Bino is a rice head. So he got some chicken fried rice. Um, but it was actually really good. So that's where we ended up going. Um, I believe it was in the design district. Uh, which is actually not too far from where we're actually staying. Our Airbnb is really cute. Y'all seen that, gave y'all a little tour. But yeah, what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually charging my phone because she's like dead, dead. And then I'm gonna take the kids, or we're gonna take the kids. We don't sleep in right now, so we're gonna see if he's gonna take the kids, but <laughs> we're gonna take the kids to go get some dessert and then figure out like what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. It's actually still kind of early. It is only, it's only 4.23. Um, yeah, it's only 4.23, but everybody's kind of pooped. Uh, we barely got any sleep last night. And then our flight this morning, we took off at seven. So we had to be at the airport at like five, but yeah. So we was up, we've been up, we've been up. So yeah, everybody's kind of, kind of sleepy, but we about to get outside, period. Right, Vincent? We getting outside. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, friends, we are about to go. We're about to go get some dessert. You know, find a few dessert places. The cool thing about this little Airbnb, we're like walking distance within like everything, pretty much everything. So, um, and there's even like a cute little lounge right underneath us too. So that's cute. But yeah, um, I don't. I really want like a sorbet, like a sherbet like a like not really ice cream but like like fruity something so that's what i'm aiming for not like a pastry or nothing i want like something refreshing because the weather is noise so yeah that's what we're about to go do um i took off my white shirt and i just kept my bra lit on underneath it but i still have the same pants i got these really cute pants from amazon let me show you these super cute pants from Amazon. They're like sweat cargos. Like they're baggy, like harem pants. Y'all remember harem pants? Like the little, like they have buttons in here too. So you can like unbutton it and I guess like make it a skirt or something. <laughs> um, and then it has these drawstrings on the side where you can like pull it, pull it all the way up and it'll kind of like make them like capris. Can y'all see? Maybe y'all can, I don't know. But they're so cute. I got them from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them in the uh, in the description. But Janisha, if y'all follow Janisha, she wears. I don't know if they're these ones, but some like these. I, they, hers might be from Anthropology or Free People. But got these last week, and I love them. And these are my Burks with my little. <laughs> The prints. <laughs> I'm so glad that I get to bust these back out. These were like one of my favorite summer pickups last year, from last year. But yeah, that's the that's the vibe. That's the look. We out. I know that looks really good. Strawberry shake layers.
it's morning time it's eight o'clock i feel like the bags i feel like the bags are bagging um i'm about to put an eye mask on i popped a pimple yesterday oh the only reason i popped it is because i had pimple patches on and then i forgot to bring some backup pimple pop patches and the pimple patch it was a zit killer girl when i tell you by the time I took that thing off, it was so white. It was white. Like, it basically, I feel like if I would have made any type of face, it would have popped on its own. So, I popped it. My intrusive thoughts won. Because it was so, I, I barely had to touch it. And it was like, boom. But, yeah. So, now it's crusting over. You know, it's scabbing up. Because a little bit of blood came with it. Sour. But yeah, um, my eyes feel so heavy because I am tired. I don't know what time I went to sleep when I got out the shower last night. Oh, lost the nail. I did buy nail glue and I did glue it on because it was loose yesterday. But I ended up, I think I was talking to Katie and I opened her door and like the way I hit the door, it was like, girl, we're not staying on. We gave you enough time to make it back to the house, okay? And they did. The glue did that. But we're gonna glue back on. Today we have some fun activities. Um, so yeah, what I'm about to do now is put on this eye mask because my eyes were so heavy. And then um, we have two campaigns to shoot for while we're here. Um, because, okay, well, I'm choosing to shoot the campaigns here because they're due on Wednesday. We get back on Tuesday. Y'all already know I'm going with this. That's just too much. Both of them <laughs> are due on Tuesday. Um, and I don't want to have to ask for an extension or anything. So I want to get it done. One is for Shea Moisture. The other one is for Neutrogena. Um, both skincare products. One is sunscreen and the other one is the deodorant everybody's seeing. And by the way, I'm, I'm getting paid. I seen the little discourse on threads about the girls not getting paid for the Neutrogena campaign. The thing is, the girls gotta understand there are budgets, then there are giftings. I actually was offered a gifting from Neutrogena and, I mean, uh, from Shea Moisture. And I don't wanna say I turned it down, but I did turn it down. I just respectfully declined. Um, and we are influencer, you just gotta know when to do that. Like, you don't have to accept everything as a gift. And this was like, I want to say last month, um, where I was just like, no, thank you. I, I, girl, I got a whole bunch of deodorant. I got a whole bunch of deodorant. Okay. Um, for gifting, I just was like, no, thank you. I, I'll buy it on my own. Is um, what I kind of um said. Like, you know, I'll test it out on my own. Um because y'all know how much like the PR is crazy and so um they spent the block and they had a budget and there was some you know <laughs> negotiation some things to talk about so I would say yeah it's not that I said no because I actually like completely wasn't interested in the product or I don't like you know whatever whatever but um yeah and that's that <laughs> So yeah, it's for their body, what is it called? Body deodorant, body. <gasps> yeah, I can't even talk y'all, I'm rambling. I was gonna say the lighting in the bathroom is horrible. In real life it is, but it looks nice right here. Like, I wanna show y'all. See, it's giving y'all, the camera's giving y'all a little extra brightness because that's not what it looks like. At all. To wipe my face down. Remove the little crusties. I'm gonna use my facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. I put them in a zip one And then, put that on my eye mask. That's okay. I'm just gonna use a little bit of moisturizer, Strivectin. I really 
really like that much. That's what's crazy is but that was a partnership as well. I had never tried Strivectin before. And now I'm like obsessed. That's how they get you. They get you with the giftings, they get you with the you know, the ads and the partnerships. Girl, and then you're spending your whole check. But it is really good. She pricey. But she's good. Especially for my skin, y'all know with my support dermatitis. SD <laughs> SBD Support dermatitis. I need your portions. Squeaky clean. I guess I mean say pillows and stuff to put with the bed. I mean I get it. I'm probably spending so much on rent. They didn't have time to be focused on getting a good bed. I understand, Carl. Because I can only imagine how much this condo is. But girl. Girl. It's like crust over because now I just wanna peel the crust off. But yeah, the bed was not comfortable, y'all. I'm sore. I need to stretch, like, honestly, truthfully. I need to stretch because I'm so sore. I feel like I worked out yesterday. I mean, we, we was walking, but it wasn't nothing that I'm not used to. My body shouldn't be bodying like this, girl. Oh, like my sh Girl, I woke up in the middle of the night and <laughs> I didn't see Vino. I said, I noticed my on the couch. And he was. And what's funny is when we, I think it was sometime during the day, child, I was like, um, I'm gonna lay on the couch because the couch is more comfortable than the bed when I had like sat on it. And I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. And he really, I woke up, I don't know what time it was, I just woke up and I was like, why are you on the couch? He said, I don't know. Balled up like a little baby. But then he came in there and said, child, you probably was better off on the couch. I'm, I'm sorry, I woke you up. <laughs> but he had went to go get us some soap last night. Because I don't know if this is just me. But with Airbnb specifically, I do not care for using their soaps. And we forgot to bring ours. Um... I just something about it just grosses me out I don't care how new it looks it just grosses me out the fact that you can untwist and unlock <laughs> you know the soaps it just doesn't sit right with me I feel like I don't trust people and I feel like people are weird and they would like contaminate the bottle or something it's i know it's probably weird um but he wants to go get us some soap last night because i was like i was in the shower i said oh no like i like i don't i like the ones that are like on the wall like a hotel like on the wall locked like you need a key to get up in there and then twist and do some things like lock it up lock it up okay i'm so mad i didn't bring my other tripod because i want to use my big camera but I didn't bring it because Vina was like girl I got you I will help you but I was like I'm a man like to sleep like I'm up and ready ready to shoot <laughs> ready to shoot but yeah it's okay it's okay
are headed to do some fun activities with the kids. They're on spring break and we are in Miami doing a little fit check. I have on this oversized button up from Target. This one piece is from Pretty Little Thing. It's very thin, but I mean, it is what it is. And then I have on my New Balances. Hat is from Amazon and all of my jewelry besides my wedding ring is also from Amazon and I broke a nail, but I'm gonna glue her back on. I'm gonna glue her back on. I wasn't gonna wear a hat today, but I feel like for where we're going, a hat is definitely going to be needed for today. All right, I'm dressed and ready to go. Gluing on my nail, and I put her on crooked, but hopefully she stays. Um, I'm gonna ring the nail glue just in case though. And then honestly, if she falls off again, I feel like, girl, it is what it is because I don't got time to be worrying about this nail. And actually, this is my first time using this glue, so maybe the glue just ain't, ain't that good. But also, I'm not used to gluing on a nail. But I know that there are nail glues that, that'll do the job but she was not doing a job yesterday Y'all, we just got done with the tour. The Everglades tour it was so much fun. It was so cute. Um, actually, I ain't gonna say it was cute. It was actually a little frightening the way they was gliding on along the boat. But we've been here all day, y'all. So now. We just stopped in the restaurant because I've never tried frog legs. And in memory of my grandfather, I said, let me try some frog legs because he, he look at this, y'all. It is a whole frog leg. Oh, forgive me, frog leg. And then we got some alligator bites. Grab one real quick before we take off. We got a little drive. Oh, look at them. I'm trying to alligator. Mm -hmm. Is that weird? Mm -hmm. Look good. Here's our chicken. Want to try one? I want to try. Y'all crazy. Y'all went from no to... Mm. Alright, let me get a little bit. Oh, they gave us little toothpicks. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, y'all. Want hot sauce? It was cute. Yeah, so now we're about to head out, head back to the city, because we out oh, here in the, with the marsh, in the marsh. Dang, this tastes like chicken. It's really chicken. Oh, that's we got to try the frog with this. You got five. You're not trying them, baby? No, I'm not trying to rub What is it? Hold on now. You know how to put it down. Oh, I know how to put it down. <laughs> it's a booty. Why are you showing cuz buns? 
<laughs> it's deceased buns. Oh, no, baby. <laughs> Bone. Why you got about me? I ain't got nothing. Where's the alligator at? Okay. What are you doing now? What's your yeah. finger? And the fact that I'm eating a frog. Where are we going next? <laughs> but it tastes like. There you go. I'll try it. Oh. You ain't finna never get me to park the middle of the legs. Nah, that's That's what I just ate. All this. Oh, okay. Pull up hustles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna be walking around. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Alright, it's gonna be over big. That's I feel bad. I know. But why? I feel bad about you alligator. <laughs> Can I get a piece of alligator? No, because you said you didn't want to. I didn't know y'all was going to get alligator. I only heard the frog. I didn't I'm saying I want to try some alligator and frog. Here. Want another one, Vincent? I eat his. Me too. You done. You <laughs> said we only got gator and frog. That's what I came for. We got what we got infinite love. Mm-hmm. I'm All right, y'all. It was good. What do you rate it, baby? What do, what do y'all rate the gator? Okay. <laughs> One through ten. I know it's not <laughs> fresh like you like it. Fresh and bleeding. <laughs> Seven point five. Right. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say eight. A ten out of ten. Because a ten out of ten. I like the texture. I like the crunch. The only thing I would like more of is a little bit more seasoning. Yeah. But the the breading don't taste like old grease. Yeah, it don't it taste good. like it, it's really good. Yeah. Um. Um. That's the only thing without make it a ten for me is a little bit more seasoning. Not real good. Now the frog. She thick. Now, I'm. Um, that is wild to say about a frog. <laughs> no, I mean, but it makes sense because they're hopping and their legs are bent like this all the time, going back, forth, back, forth. So that meat is way thicker than the alligator meat. Yeah, I just think that's my thing. Mm hmm. Too many chews. Mm hmm. Her leg is good, but her thighs. Y'all seen all that booty, honey? All right. <laughs> now we're sexualizing the list of eating a frog. Who's talking about? The Everglades was a success. We are back at the room, um, or the room. It's not a hotel. <laughs> we are back. Whatever you did. At the room. Say that the room. It's not. It's not a room. At the room. It's not a room. What'd you say? Not it's not a hotel. Yeah. It's a air. It's a weird. You are do you people love you doing that? Oh, it does? Yeah. He said my hand is weird. Pick it up. <laughs> you don't do that? Let me see. <laughs> I don't know, it just it's relaxed. What you mean? You just you're chilling. You just like what? Anyways, <laughs> we just got back from um, the Everglades. It was like a little forty-minute drive. Not too, not too much. Um, we have dinner reservations at seven thirty. It's at it's six o'clock right now, like six twenty. Um, did I make that up? What time is it? Six twenty. Six seventeen. Six seventeen. Period. 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 Uh. Um. But now we're about to walk. Are we going over there? We're about to walk to. Um, Marshalls? One of them places. Um, actually, I'm going to go to a Mary. A Mary? He just needs some muscle shirts. So. <laughs> He's going to go to a Mary. He just needs some muscle shirts. <laughs> well, we're going to grab him some muscle shirts. We're by everything. So, we're yeah, we going to the Dollar Tree. We're going to... I don't know. Do they have muscle shirts at the Dollar Tree? Nah. Um, 
but we're buying everything. I think I said that yesterday. We're right in Midtown. Um, so yeah, we're buying everything. Actually, our dinner that we're going to, the restaurant that we're going to is right on the corner of this like little yeah. development. So yeah, we have a little time. The kids are recovering because they just, they drove. They was running around. They was doing a lot, so they're exhausted. They had to swim with alligators. They're hoop tiny. <laughs> they walked in the elevator and was like, oh. But yeah, um, we're about to go there and then we're gonna come back here and get ready for dinner. All right, y'all. We are, it's a few hours later. Um, we're headed to dinner. Ooh, let me turn on the flashlights. We are about to head to dinner. Huh? What's wrong? We're about to head to dinner. Um, I'm about to put on some jewelry. Just a little bit. I think I'm gonna just put on a necklace because my neck is a little bare. I got all these necklaces and earrings and stuff and I ain't been wearing none of them. I'm besides the, like the two bracelets that I had put on earlier. But I'm so excited to eat. I don't even understand, honey. I'm so excited to eat. Yeah, I think that's cute. And I'm about to break the table. Show y'all the vibe. Y'all see? Oh, I know what I'll do. There. We're heading to dinner. Um, And it's actually like right on the corner, so we don't have to like drive or anything you just walk outside so this is what i'm wearing cute little slip dress denim jacket because we're actually sitting outside it's not like super cold or anything but y'all know um i'm gonna throw in a scent let me see if can find it for these little boot sandals um the way they do and then scent of the night is this one from Alex L. It's Alex L and Sniff um, collaborated and they made this scent, but I don't know the name of it. Uh, Heal the Way, Heal the Way, which is perfect because if y'all know, if you're familiar with Alex L, that's like her jam. She does like um, creative writing, like positive affirmational content, like she's amazing. So. This collab is, the name of this perfume is right up her alley. It's perfect for her, but it smells impeccable. It almost smells like, she definitely gives me like a little bit of Yum Pistachio Gelato from Kaali with a little bit of like the sweetness from um, the one from Finery, the pistachio one from Finery. I can't remember that one, that name, but it smells so good. So we're gonna just wear this. Put on the shoes. One do y'all fit check? Here's the look. Here's Vincent's look. <laughs> I have been loving this. I've been loving this um honey. The, or the shade is honey, but the lip gloss is from Huda Beauty, the new faux filler lip glosses, and this color is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Good morning, friends. It is Monday. Um, actually, I must shut the doors. The kids are still asleep. Vino's still asleep. It's actually not even super early. It is, or it's 9.30. But, I, um, yesterday when we drove to the alligator place, the Everglades, um, we stopped at a gas station and we got car food, <laughs> road trip food, and I forgot I had this honey bun. So this is gonna be my breakfast. I don't remember the last time I had a honey bun and I just heated it up for a good five seconds. Yesterday when I had bought it, I was telling them, cause they were like, you're not gonna eat your honey bun. And I'm like, I am, but I'm waiting to eat it up. And the kids thought that was so nasty. I'm like, what? When I was y'all's age, I always heated my honey bun up. 
But I guess that's not what the kids doing anymore. But as for me and mine, because then me and my stomach, we gonna heat it up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm about to eat this. This is about to be my horrible breakfast. But that's okay. Um, we don't really have a plan for today. We leave tomorrow, but we don't have like real plans today. Um, we have, we had plans, but so one of the plans was to go on this, one of the plans was to go on this art walk, but it was like, like we had to pay for it and we almost did, but we were like, we could just go to Wynwood and just walk. <laughs> And find something else to do. I'm also thinking about going to the beach. I don't have a whole lot of plans. Um, but we knew for sure we wanted to do the Everglades. We had dinner last night. Dinner was cute. That was nice. No phones. Just talking to our teenage kids. You know, connecting and stuff like that. And then me and Vino tried to go to... We tried to go to a hookah bar, but they were closed. Based, we were trying to go on Google. It said they was open, and they were open. But when we got there, they was like hesitant to let us in. They was trying to shut down, honey. It was Sunday night. It was 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30. Mm, I think it was going on 11, actually. Anyways, then we tried to go to another place that's actually right in this building, like right underneath. But I had took off my makeup. I had to on something like casual and I didn't wear what I wore to dinner. So I was looking like, girl, I was looking like I was running to the grocery store real quick. Because <sighs> that's what the other place was giving. And then I was like, I was told, you know, I was like, well, why don't we try that other place? Because we had looked it up and it looked real bougie. And the girls was cute. The girls was dressed really cute up in there. But when we pulled up, I was like, well, when we walked up there, I was like, can I come in there with this? She was like, yeah, girl. She was like, but I'm going to tell y'all when we get inside. And I was like, girl, what? You got a secret? She was like. Girl, it is one fifty for a hookah. Cause I asked if they had hookah. They said yeah, one fifty. She was like, I'm gonna be rude with you. It's extremely overpriced. There's a place in Wynwood <laughs> that you should go to. Like she was like, it's not even half the price. It. Like it's cheap and it's good. And there's black people. It's a vibe. And then we came back upstairs. Um, we had came back upstairs to figure out what we were going to do and we just ended up getting sleepy. So we didn't do, do anything last night, but we want to try to go at night, but we want to try to do something tonight. But I was like, shout out to the girl. She was like, I can't even let y'all go out like that. Like it is literally 150. She was like, it's extremely overpriced. I just want to let y'all know that way y'all not surprised when she was like, cause we don't even got no menus, no nothing to tell you like to the breakdown she was basically expressing how irritated she is with her manager and how they trip her with the price but yeah shout out to shout out to her home girl so yeah that was pretty much how yesterday had ended um i've actually been up for like three hours but i was just laying in the bed scrolling i was catching up with this b simone and megan stuff not even catching up, but not really catching up, but she had dropped her um podcast trailer. She had dropped her podcast trailer and the girls is mad, honey. I don't know. People are really like against me. And I get it. Cause everything that like I mean, she, everything that she's going through publicly, it's so easy for us to, like, judge and form opinions about someone. At the end of the day, we truly don't know. 
and I think that's what people are forgetting. We're just seeing a glimpse of like this person. I give her grace. I don't have no qualms with, with B. Um, just the same way I give grace to Megan. I feel like people are more inclined to align themselves with Megan because that is what they aspire to be, deeply rooted in God, um, knowing their word. She comes off as, you know, she has a lot of wisdom. And even with that, I, I take that with a grain of salt. You can't really, you know, even y'all for me, like anybody, like you can't really form who somebody is based off of what is edited and what is shown online. So I'm not like Team Megan. I'm not like Team B. I think that there are both qualities about them. Um that can make people either really like them or make people kind of like side eye them and i feel the same way i'm talking about both of them i feel the same way about megan as well because um we just one we don't know the true story we don't know anything honestly um but i do feel like megan is imperfect i feel like he is imperfect and the, to see these think pieces Oh my goodness, it be draining me. Like, what are you even talking about? The think pieces on people's relationships and friendships and careers and their life in general. I'm like, there was a post I seen a few months ago and it was like, I just want to be, I want to be a successful influencer. Like, uh, who was it? I forgot who they had said but this person just just think of an influencer that is killing the game that is killing the game on purpose but on accident like they're not trying too hard they are just who themselves who they are unapologetically and they are just showing up no pressure to show up no pressure to engage no pressure to do anything they just show up and they just naturally have people that enjoy their content no way no hate no nothing that is the thing that scares me about like i do love creating content i do love what it is that i'm doing but part of it does like frighten me as far as like the opinions of other people and people having think pieces on you or i know you can't control like who likes you and who doesn't like you but that nasty part of the internet is such a scary place and we see it every single day and we're seeing it right now with the whole Megan and B thing. Like I couldn't imagine because I love creating content so much. I couldn't imagine walking away from it because people are so nasty and so rude. You know what I mean? Hopefully y'all can hear me because I'm whispering, but yeah, it's just, it's interesting. It is interesting. And I love how, like, people are in the comments about the Megan and B thing. And they're like, no, actually, this is what happened. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. I love how y'all can tell us exactly what happened. Y'all don't even notice people. Ciao. Ciao. So that's what I was doing this morning. Me, all up in other people's business. <laughs> Not even necessarily that. I just was caught myself on that side of TikTok, child. I'm just really looking at the people that are making five minute videos about somebody else's life. You don't even know these people, honey. Anyways, I curled this wig when I was at home, and my thought. My idea was to wear her curly. Chow, why did I make... I, I think if I put... Chow, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all see. Basically, this is the long wig, y'all. The long one I've been wearing. The one I added the 30 inches to. What am I supposed to do with this? Part of me wants to like put it in the bathroom and let the steam let the steam knock the curls out but then i feel like it's gonna knock the curls out completely because this is body wave hair this ain't textured hair so it's gonna become 
y'all know, almost like stringy. Y'all know, like when your hair like it's humid, when the when the humid humid humidity hits your hair and it falls. Oh, this one's kind of cute though. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and unravel it, and we're gonna see if we want to wear her there or if we want to keep the vibe on. But I think she could be cute. I miss curly hair. I think I want another curly unit. I'm already thinking about Essence Fest, y'all. So I wore curly hair to Essence Fest, so that reminded me of that. But I'm already thinking about Essence Fest. Um, I went for the first time last year with my agency <laughs> at the time. So this year's going to be a little different. Um, that is one thing that I want to make sure that I do because I just love how I felt when I went. Just being around other black women, other black creators. So my goal for March is to start reading out, reaching out. I don't care if it might seem too early. Um, but I do not want to be, I'm say for lack of words, left out of, you know, being in certain rooms and stuff like that. Um, and I'm just going to have to do the work myself. I'm also going to share that with my new agent. Um, I don't know how much she can do. I know she's not a PR person. Um, and she is, I mean, my girl's white. <laughs> Be real. But I'm not counting her out. Um, I'm just being open and transparent with y'all. Essence Fest is a black space. Um, so even when I was considering, like, if I wanted to go with this agent or not, there were a few others that I didn't share with y'all, um, that have reached, that did reach out. Um, some were black, uh, and I vetted them out and, you know, gave them a fill out. But I'm going to be honest with you, <clears throat> some of them kind of gave me, um, <sighs> the vibe with where I was currently at and I'm, I'm not trying to repeat that I like that I'm in this situation where it is only six months so I get to like fill her out um also somebody asked not somebody a few of y'all have asked if I feel that it's necessary for me to now want to um get an agent because I've secured to y'all I'm I'm like $900 away from my 10k monthly goal with only two partnerships that is a first for me because typically um I would get multiple multiple meaning which is not a bad thing because I'm still getting to work with these brands and you know whatever but it was almost like I was doing so much work for like six thousand dollars like I was having four campaigns opposed to two for six thousand or seventy five hundred and I got my first one seven K just off of one partnership. It is two post but it's one partner it's one brand. Um someone asked me if it, do do I feel that it's necessary to have an agent or to be looking for, you know, management as far as an agency or an agent representation. And I said yes, and that is solely because I do understand my my strong my my strengths, and one of my strengths uh, is creating content. So I would love to focus on creating content and not making the same mistake that I did with the previous agency, where I just focused on content and didn't know nothing about my business. I am now making an effort to know more about my business, and that is one of the reasons why I chose to go with this agent specifically because of the transparency that she has with her talent but also the connections that she has and I'm going based off of the other people that are on the roster but also the conversation that I had with her so yeah before I didn't I didn't do that child and who knows maybe next year I might be like you know what girl I done put my little team together. We good over here. I got somebody doing outreach and, you know, pitching for me. But I know I don't want to pitch. I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to do that. I rather focus on creating content and being a creative opposed to, like, I'm, I'm not against, like, looking over my contracts and 
you know, knowing what's going on now, but I do know that I don't want, I don't care to pitch. <laughs> I just would like to have somebody out there doing all of this for me, doing the follow-ups. I get to see my emails, so I get to see what the conversation is about, which I love. Um, and yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. And I completely get it though from the outside looking in it's like dang girl you're doing it on your own like what you need to give you know somebody else a cut of what you're doing i don't mind giving somebody a cut of what i'm doing if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing so yeah i know that it looks exciting like when people are like oh i just got signed to i just got this y'all everything ain't always what it seems okay everything ain't always what it seems and that's why it's important to know your goals and what, what you want out of speaking directly for content and content creators. It's so important to know exactly what you want and what your goals are because the moment that they feel misaligned, when your little radar go off, you know exactly what it is that you need to be doing or what you should be looking for. Actually, I'm not mad at this, y'all. I'm about to like break it apart because I use Moose. I use the do. If y'all know, y'all know. That stuff is like glue. <laughs> this stuff is a strong mayo sunny uh, or dough the devil I think it's the dough this one <laughs> this one right here but that stuff is so strong and I use that I did bring my old flex oil so I think I'm gonna rub my fingers through it a little bit but I'm not mad at it I don't hate it she a little crunchy and got some straggles I'm gonna go ahead and cut these but I think she'll be cute. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead, jump into this Bible. And I'll see y'all when we head out. Once we figure out what we're doing today, y'all. I'll see y'all in a little meeting. Also, I do want to do a QA. and a I want to do a content Q&A. Um, or just a QA and a in general. So go ahead and leave your questions in the... Um, comments because i think my next video because i'm getting a lot of questions even if y'all don't i'm probably going to use the ones that i'm getting on instagram because i'm getting a lot of questions on instagram i'm getting a few on threads as well i probably will just do it anyways but if there's anything that you want to know specifically go ahead and leave it in the comments and we'll chat girl we will chat Third day here in Miami with the kids. I'm just gonna do a little quick little OOTD. Wearing my favorite little earrings that I got from, I was almost say Amazon, but I did link some similar ones in Amazon, okay? These are not from Amazon, these are from Zara. My top is, my top is from last year, it's from H&M. I think it came, I think I shopped around springtime when I got this, it came with pants too, or it didn't come with pants, but it had a matching pant that went with the top. I only got the top though. I have on a bodysuit um, that is from, I think, Target. And then my pants, hold on, let me lower y'all down. And my pants are from Zara. Um, I'm not sure which bag I'm gonna wear today, but let me put these earrings on real quick. I love the gold detail on these shoes. I was gonna do, I was gonna do all of my gold bangles, but I think I'm going to wear these cute little bracelets. For my glow, I'm gonna go in with Nivea and then Sol de Janeiro Copacabana bronzer or bronze glow oil. Yeah. Pump. Pump of the Nivea. Pump of the bronze. Mix that up. Like this, like that. I already put sunscreen on. Um, but we still need a glow, honey. We still need a glow. Bags have a few options. So I have this little white one. They're all from Amazon. I have this little, or it's not really white. It's more like beige. A little Bottega vibes. Um, and then little Webe dupe. I think I'm leaning towards this because I like the way that it goes with the pants. But then we can like offset it and have like a pop of brown, which also goes really nice with this green. And it has a little gold detail to match the shoes and the earrings. And yeah, I don't know, I kind of like this, but I really like the neutral tone of this. This one, oh, okay, we're not doing that one for sure, but. Now I'm like, does this match too much? But it's still a vibe. And she carries a lot. I have my cameras. 
haven't worn her yet yet. But I a little side bag. Doesn't look horrible. I am gonna go with the Louis Vuitton. These glasses, because of the black detail, kind of goes with the black trim on the bag. To keep it simple with my perfume, I'm just gonna wear Sweet Ash. From the Sniff brand. Oh, this smells so good. Never mind the mess in the back, okay? It's not your business, okay? We're off to go get food. Ready to have some fun, Pearl? Yeah. Ready to eat? back home i didn't really i didn't really end off the miami vlog whatsoever i kind of just stopped vlogging um but yeah we got home yesterday today is wednesday um today was extremely busy girl extremely busy yesterday when we got in um i ended up i think i told y'all i had three campaigns that i needed to shoot for i brought some of the stuff to miami it just didn't work out as far as like what I had envisioned and what I had in mind, but also not that I did anything like super crazy. It just, it was just too much. Um, and when I say like what I had envisioned and what I had in mind is the scripting part. There was so many words in the briefs for both. One was like not that bad, but the others, oh my goodness. It was so many words. I tried so hard and mind you I'm on a trip we're on spring break for the kids I tried so hard and my I felt like my brain was doing that thing where like the algebra numbers this I felt like my brain was doing this <laughs> when I was reading the brief I couldn't focus so I was like you know what I'm gonna do this when I'm home I know I'm gonna be pushing it because the deadline was today so I was like we get in at four let me go ahead and just script everything and I script I scripted my ass off if I do say so myself honey like I did that I did that I went crazy and then I had all my bullet points for all three of the partnerships as far as like what I wanted to capture for b-roll what I wanted to capture for the talking parts and what I wanted to capture um like a second b-roll <laughs> like um I, I yeah like main camera content b-roll content talking content yada 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 um my outfits I had that scripted out as far as what I was gonna wear like I had everything so well prepared um I shocked my damn self <laughs> but it made it so much easier my goal was to have everything shot everything done before noon because the content was due at five so I was like okay let me get this together let me get it together okay um so yeah scripting definitely helped me make sure that i got everything done did everything i was supposed to do didn't miss anything there might be some revisions i did look back at one of the briefs i'm telling you it was so much i did look back at one of the briefs um 
and I was supposed to mention like this is in partnership with I I did not do that so I'm pretty sure they're they're, they're gonna ask me to do that so what I'm gonna do is just do the voiceover so I don't have to worry about trying to do it tomorrow um, and I might just go ahead and revit re revise it myself and upload it I'm sure they're gonna say something about that even though I have the tag of the brand um, on there I mention it in the caption I do mention it but it's not like we I partnered with it's you know more so like collaborating with like y'all know it's a ad shit. <laughs> but I know that that's probably going to be something um, that they want so I am gonna go ahead and do that but um, I feel, I feel really good. I feel like inspired and ready to create this week. Um, what I want to do right now is meal prep. It is 426. I was telling Instagram, I was like, I don't care if it's the middle of the week, honey, I'm still going to meal prep. Okay. I'm going to meal prep because we got goals. We got goals. Um, I just drank some more greens. I had my greens this morning. I have not eaten anything else. Well, I'm lying. I ate the rest, the crumbs of Vino's cheese hits um from yesterday's flight but as far as food i only had a smoothie this morning and then i just drank some more greens like just pour a glass of greens um but i'm hungry now so i'm going to meal prep my good old chipotle chicken ain't nothing new around here okay if it ain't broke don't fix it and that's like one of my favorite things to meal prep because i know i'm gonna eat that okay and i think i also might go ahead and just meal prep um what do you call it the lettuce wraps oh no i'm not i didn't even buy lettuce wraps yesterday but i did buy ground turkey yeah i don't think i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna do that what i'm gonna do instead is just the chipotle chicken mm, i can't wait to eat it i'm so hungry uh i know it's gonna take a little while but i'm gonna go ahead and cook that otherwise yeah i just wanted to pop on and say hey y'all i'll probably end the vlog off with me cooking and start a new weekly vlog um but yeah I, oh I guess I could dang I didn't even show y'all the packages we got and I just put all the stuff away maybe I'll show you guys I'll show y'all next week's vlog because I'm not about to go get, <laughs> get it um I know some of you guys like seeing my unboxings and stuff like that but yeah I'm about to turn something on and watch right now I'm watching my girl Shelly I am Shelly I, lo I love her vlogs um, I'm gonna finish that. I was watching y'all. I, I did watch B Simone's podcast. I couldn't even finish it. Not for any specific reason. Okay, okay. There were a few things. There were a few things. Y'all know how I was talking about like y'all know what I was talking about when I was talking about when I was talking about it uh, regarding the situation. And when I was watching it. I felt like I was watching it from the point of view of someone having a point to prove. Again, I like B. I like her vulnerability. I like her sharing her walk with God. I like that she's being herself and she's on her own path and her own journey. But I did not like watching it from a lens of... And I'm putting this on her. I'm not saying she she says she got a point to prove. This is what I kind of was gathering. And I could be wrong. But this is what I, like how I took the, the, the video. Because she did part vlog and then part, um, she did part vlog and then the rest was podcast. But it, it just seemed like, and maybe she does have a point to prove. Maybe she's like, and I think she even kind of talks about it just like, all everything that she's gone through the adversities and issues and just plagiarism like all of the things that she's gone through her life upbringing and stuff like that I, I think she was kind of coming from a place of you know i have a point to prove but i didn't like that in some moments it did felt it did feel like she was she was being shady she was being shady in some parts and she's entitled to like you can be shady it, but I think it when stuff like that happens when I hate that we even know their business or we don't know their business but I hate that this breakup is so public you know what I mean especially off of the success that they they gained from their podcast but I feel like when one person is quiet 
and the other one is loud. Not saying that they have to be quiet and they can't have a voice and, you know, whatever. But I feel like it just looks a little funny. It looks a little funny. It really, really does. And I'm not saying Megan's perfect because I know that there are people out there that, you know, handle their themselves really good, even though the whole time behind the scenes, they was doing some stuff too. Um, because again, we don't know the situation, but it was just kind of like, mm, watching it like, girl, no, don't talk about nothing. Talk about you. Talk about you. Keep about you. Keep about you. But she was definitely taking jabs. Um, I don't know. I might give it another try, but I did not finish it. I did not finish it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it gets better. Hopefully she gets better. Um, I know it ain't. Friendship breakups are hard, man. They really are. Um, I remember one of my best friends, um, that I was really, really close with. We, there was a point where we kind of, you know, had our little tit. Um, and we're not best friends now. We are cordial. We are friends now. Um, but we're not best friends, but during that moment, I think it was probably, it was definitely like a year and a half where I did not talk to her. Um, and when I tell y'all my stomach, my stomach was in knots the entire like time of us like not talking. And it was my fault. I, I will, you know, hold myself accountable. I've always held myself accountable. Um, and I had to respect her not wanting to, you know, further the friendship um, because of what she wasn't getting from me. Long story short, I just, I had gotten closer to, we all have like specific friend groups, you know, I know y'all grown, y'all have y'all friend, different friend groups, but I have a specific four, like a main four that are like, those are my besties. They, those are my adult besties. Um, we became friends when... 22 22 23 um so yeah over 10 years ago but they were my friends when I went through one of the hardest times in my life they came into my life during one of the hardest times of my life and we kind of just stuck together like glue I'm not saying I pushed my friend aside um but uh they could relate they could understand um the things that I was going through at the time um, and also I, I was keeping my friend groups separate, not for any, I wasn't doing it intentional. Like now looking back and when I did look back at it, I was like, there was no re real reason. Like there was never like, Oh, you can't come to this or you can't do this. Like there were moments where I'd be like, Hey, we're doing this. You want to come along? But I also was respecting the, you know, like the boundaries of the friend group, like if somebody else is having something, I'm not going to invite so-and-so or, you know, vice versa. Anyways, I wasn't doing a good job and I still am very sucky when it comes to like reaching out. And I don't know if this is something because of like how I grew up, I've always depended on me. I've always looked out for me, not in a bad way. Like I'm, 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 a, I'm a put me first. But it's more so like, okay, I gotta figure this out. Let me do this. And I'm I don't necessarily like think about the next person and like how they're feeling. Like, let me give you an example. Like, I'm I, I'm good. I'm good. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I I know that I need my friends and I love my friends, but realistically, like I am such a loner, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm a very, I'm, a, I'm, re I'm really a loner. Um, but I now know that my friends, they're not loners <laughs> and they are like, girl, like, why you ain't calling me that whole time? I'm over here either working, creating content, chilling, reading, watching TV. Like I'm not thinking to call a friend. I'm doing better now. I'm doing way better now. <laughs> but then it wasn't a thought to be like, let me call so-and-so they would call me and I'd be like, Hey, and then we would talk and then I'd be like, all right. And I would be okay. Like I'm very, this is what I'm saying. I'm very much a low maintenance friend. I'm not a bad friend. I'm there advice. What you need help support. I'm pulling up. I I'm very good. That's my strong suit. As far as like physically, <laughs> tangibly helping, um, 
giving advice, all those things. But when it comes to like picking up the phone, I don't be doing that or I wasn't doing that. I'm still working on it. And I definitely know where it stems from. I definitely am aware of where it stems from. Like I just, I was never close with my family growing up, like cousins and stuff, even my aunt, like when we were little, but it was like once we hit like preteens, my like, you know, parents move, we're further away. It was just a shift that happened and I just was alone a lot. <laughs> so I was okay with like, nobody checking on me or me checking on anybody else like I was just I was I was surviving <laughs> I was kicking it by myself um and yeah so yeah child a lot to unpack that's a whole nother thing to unpack child but I'm doing much better now just let's just say that and I um I love my friends down and I love my friends that understand me and the way that I love um, and I couldn't imagine like ever having beef with any of them and then getting online. Like I never, like, I never knew them or like, I never really loved them or, you know, like, like, I don't know, like point to prove type of vibe. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Maybe that'll be the only time she, I don't think that's going to be the only time she speaks on it. <laughs> I don't. But I wanted to mention that because I was talking about friendship breakups. It's uncomfortable. It is hard. It is one of the most painful breakups. And we didn't even really break up, child. But I know that B is going through it, is what I'm saying. I know that she's going through it. And I don't, I low-key don't feel like it's a good time for her to start doing a podcast. Um, Because I just, I don't know. I don't want to see, because I do like her, I don't want to see her go down not saying she'll go down a path where she can't like you know get get her dig herself into something that she can't get out of but words are hurtful actions are hurtful and I would hate for that to like get bigger than what it currently is getting because it's getting a lot of like everybody's talking about it on TikTok people are making videos on YouTube it's just a lot um, but yeah, I don't know why I just went on that whole little tangent. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this Alani new.